Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse, welcome to my channel and welcome to another energy reading. Today we'll be taking a look at the recent past, the present and the future in reference to a love connection that continues to challenge you. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. Private readings with me are an hour long. The best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link to my IG is below. And not every Sagittarius watching me will feel like this is their story. That's okay. It's impossible for me to be able to connect with each and every Sag in this world. All right, let's get right into what's going on. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Sagittarius and the energy that they're dealing with when it comes to love. Let's talk about the recent past when it comes to Sag and the energy that Sagittarius is dealing with for the recent past. Please speak to me in reference to Sag and the person that they're dealing with for the recent past. Please speak to me in reference to love. Talk to me about the person that you're dealing with, okay? Tell me more about this person that they're dealing with. Okay. So what I'm getting here, Sagittarius, is you're not really wanting to communicate with someone right now with the King of Swords in reverse. You probably won't have anything nice to say if you'd have to communicate, all right? You don't wanna be pushed right now and you don't want to be rushed is the energy that I'm getting here in the recent past. We have a queen of wands energy who really likes to speak her mind, okay? Whether male or female, this person, when they express themselves, they should watch what they say because that sticks with you for a while and it's not so easy for you to get over. You really pay attention to people's words. And as we know, words hurt more than a physical blow, right? So I just feel that in the recent past, someone is wounded here. Somebody is really hurt. That could be the energy that you're dealing with Sagittarius. And because they are hurt, they come off with this fiery energy of blaming you or speaking to you in a way that you don't like to be spoken to. And we have your energy in reverse here. So you're not having it. You're not wanting to deal with it. And basically somebody needs to watch their mouth is what I'm getting from you because you don't like the words that are said or what someone said is what I get for you, your energy now. With this Knight of Swords, again, like no communication, just thinking about what the next step is gonna be. Right now, I don't really feel that you're open to talking to someone, okay? Now, let's take a look at the present. Please speak to me in reference to the present when it comes to Sagittarius and the energy that they're dealing with. Talk to me about Sagittarius and the energy that they're dealing with, please. Four of Cups, energy, disappointment, someone feeling like they're alone here. We have the Emperor coming out, so you're just trying to be firm in what you believe in. You don't like somebody's actions. You don't like their attitude. You're turned off by that. And you're not giving this energy any attention right now. With the Knight of Wands energy in reverse, this is you not wanting to invest or give any of your love or attention to an energy that doesn't speak to you a way that shows that they are mature. There's some immaturity that you don't like about the situation. 
10 of cups in reverse. So just holding back your cups, not giving in the present moment, not willing to offer the 10 of cups to this person. Four of cups energy. I feel like your person feels very lonely. Sagittarius. Four of cups. All right. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we also have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Sag and the person that Sag thinks about. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Sagittarius and the person that they think about, please. Let's take a look at the future. All right, so we have Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me more about the future for Sagittarius. Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about Sag. Tell me more about Sagittarius. Okay, so we have Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, again with the Five of Pentacles. And then we have this Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Somebody feels left out here, Sagittarius. They feel left out by you is the energy that I get. It's either this water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, or it's the Earth sign, the Taurus, the Virgo, or the Capricorn. I just really get here that in the near future, you're just really interested in doing you, whatever that is. They may believe that you're being a little selfish. That's how I see that somebody is viewing you. Someone just feels like they don't get enough of you, okay? They want more of your attention. They want more of your time. But with all of these cards in reverse, you're not willing to participate. But again, you know that you can be very stubborn, right? Now, let's clarify this Queen of Wands that we have here. There's something that this Queen, whether male or female, there's something that someone said here that pissed you off, okay? So let's take a look at the Queen of Wands energy. Talk to me about this Queen of Wands energy. The Ten of Swords. Like, so you're trying to drop that right now. Like, you don't even have time to entertain it. You really do not like whatever it was that this person said. Okay. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords energy. And this queen of wands something is very hard for that person though so i just feel like they come at you a certain way because of what they feel that you're doing you know it's not this equal give and take what they would like is for there to be some type of truce between you guys but there's a constant competition here Okay, so either you're always trying to get somebody's attention or somebody's always trying to get your attention. That's causing friction here. Now, with the Ten of Cups in reverse, you're not willing to give here in the present moment. Somebody's lonely, whether it be you or the person that you're dealing with. You're not willing to communicate right now with the Knight of Wands in reverse, which is your energy. Okay, and I also have the Three of Cups here, so third party all right so more than one person involved which is why your person is probably having a fit here there's there's this queen of wands that is tight and there's three cups here so she's probably upset about the three cups okay so let's clarify the three of cups energy in the present moment why is the three of cups energy here in the present moment for Sagittarius Talk to me about 
the Three of Cups energy for Sagittarius. Why do we have three people here? Ooh, that's too much. I'm not going to take all that. It's way too much. Let's put it back. Clarify the Three of Cups. Clarify the Three of Cups for Sagittarius. The Emperor. So, it's like you feel that you can do whatever you want. That's what they think. Okay, because the Emperor is somebody who doesn't like to repeat themselves. So, it's like you don't want to repeat yourself. You said what you said and that's it. And you don't even want to be questioned about third party energy because you feel like you don't have to give anybody any type of explanation. It's like, you know, the emperor is, um, he's a boss figure, very authoritative, someone who feels like you work for me. So why do I have to tell you or explain to you how to do your job? All right. Um, when I already told you, that's the attitude of the emperor. I already told you what to do. So stop asking me questions, right? That's how cocky the emperor is. So Sagittarius, I feel like somebody feels that you're taking on that type of energy. Now, let's clarify the future here. Ooh, King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, King of Cups in your future. So, who are you the King of Cups for? We have a king and a queen in the future. All right? We have a couple. Tell me more about this king and this queen in the future, which is Sagittarius and their person. So, Tell me more about this king and queen in the future. Two of Wands. So choices. Very much alike energies, okay? Two of Wands, just alike. There's a lot of things that you guys have in common, which is why you guys get on each other's nerves so much, honestly. Tell me more. Page of Swords. So just a lot of quiet energy. I don't really see any action right now on your part. And I don't see action on the part of your person. You both are at this standstill and not really communicating with each other the way that you should be. Right. And there's a lot of tension here. There's other people involved and somebody is aware of that. Somebody is actually aware of a third party here, okay? And that's causing problems. Um, there's a lot of watching, no talking. That's what I'm getting, Sagittarius, okay? So that's what I have for you to book your private reading. All of that info is below. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link is below. Thank you and take care.